All right, guys, this is SSJ Dustin again, back with a game from Armor Games called Sunny. And Sunny basically is kind of an RPG game, and it has different stats and different levels that you go through that are all designed to advance the story. And um, basically what happens is you wake up as sort of a zombie and you're trying to figure out your whole entire past and you go through and you discover all this shocking new stuff. Um, but anyways, I don't know much more about it because it's been a long time since I've played it. Um, but I just thought this would be cool to upload um, playthroughs of it. So without further ado, here we're going to do Sunny. And I think I'm going to put my name as um, Dusk Rider because that was a name I used to get called a lot. No real idea why. I just kind of stuck, so I've went with it ever since. Uh, yeah, so you can save multiple files on here. And it has different classes, so like, um, which is kind of nice. Like They've got Destroyer, which is a... Uh, Physical class specializes in strength and endurance. Uh, you can play as a defensive, survival, or offensive character with that one. Guardian is kind of balanced. They kind of have both magic and they are strong too. They supposedly survive very well in the game and they have a bunch of different, you know, you can build them differently in each playthrough. The Assassin, I've kind of went with these guys, um, but they're kind of harder to play with. They have a physical melee, uh, high speed, high burst damage, and very low health. Gunslinger's kind of cool, but it's really weird. A magic-based class that can deal massive damage with deadly spells and abilities. It has very low health, which makes it even more difficult than the Assassin. But, uh... I'm going to play as a Guardian, personally, because I don't play as them much. Uh, I'm going to leave the graphics on high. It they should be okay. Sunny. I'd like to tell you more about myself, but I can't. I'm sorry, i got to shut up for this my real name. This is awesome. It all started a year ago, on that dreadful ship. I'll never forget the ship. I'll never forget it. I died all there. Once. But somebody brought me back. Wake up, Sonny. Let's hope you're not too far gone. And I know the graphics aren't that good, but remember, hey, this is a Flash that. game. The guy did a you. really good job on, with the concept we need to get and the storyline and everything, Who are you? so that's I'm where Lewis, I got just a friend. Can you walk? Uh, yeah. You'll need a weapon. Grab something. What? Uh, how about this pipe? Sounds fine. Take it. This way. Are we going to go rectally rain paper with it? I may be blind, but there's no mistaking that smell. Can you take him out? Yes, I I suppose I can. Ah, I don't feel too well. <laughs> I love the It'll wear off eventually. You this. need to focus. <laughs> Notice how do you the gray know, rig in the lower middle panel me? around the exclamation how do you know that mark. Wait the until it turns of this blue. Will wear off. Are you? Once Are the you ring is me? blue, click on the enemy to target him. Your abilities will appear around him. And holy crap, level 1, level 99? Well, how did you get level up so much? Did you just kind of play through this entire game with the already so you don't know what's going to happen? Well, then why am I even playing this? Why? Can't you just explain it to me? I'm gonna get rid of Alright, so basically you just click over here and uh, you, know, you get a set of attacks, but obviously. And he doesn't you also get happy. like abilities He's like enraged. this, like he You'll just pulled out his skill and raged. And uh, instead of it the increases enemy his damage, so you can so use your defensive ability to find out more about an ability. Hold damage your mouse over its icon for a couple of seconds. So, and this blue ring down here is kind of a turn-based type thing. You can go down here and skip your turn if you don't know what you want to do. But Obviously, like stuff like enraged costs. And, uh, Good job, Sonny. Keep stamina? going and stay alert. There'll be more stamina. of them ahead. Or mana if you have like a magic based character. Like but, okay, that was fairly easy. Um, and 
as you go through, you get leveled up and you gain money, and you can use that money here at the item store and use it to buy stuff like this, which is uh, armor and better weapons that help you, you know, go through things easier in the game. All in all, it's a big help. So we're gonna move on. These things anyway, they look horrid and decayed. Ah, and the smell is nauseating. Look at yourself, buddy. I reckon they buddy. used to be the ship's crew, but not anymore. What's happened to them? They were right! And we're running out of time. I'll tell you everything when we're off this ship. Uh, and then, yeah, here's where, um, you can use the points you get from leveling up to get abilities. Um, they all, of course, have different effects. You can take your attribute points here and add them to vitality, which is obviously your health. Strength, that's pretty self-obvious. Magic, that's pretty self-obvious. Speed, I think, has to do with who strikes first or um, dodging and parrying or something like that. that that's my Of abilities because you know obviously it's to make the game that much more fair and challenging because what point would there be if you could use every single ability it'd be way too easy to go through this game uh, I think I want to do strength just to kind of back up the smash a little bit might not be the wisest choice strongest weapon this pipe uh, no i'm talking about your brain think attack the weakest zombies one don't first. have brains defend yourself you when you can Hulk smash god they sound so butt hurt in this too sell your items too which is pretty useful for getting better ones. I'm actually going to end it here. Um, if you guys want me to continue this series let me know. Again uh, if the video is a little glitchy just let me know. But yeah that's it.